Hi, I'm Jesus, and this video is about the butterfly knife, or as I like to call it, the best knife in the game. Now, it's kind of hard to get a butterfly knife from a case, not just because the knives are super hard to unbox, but because it's only available from a couple of particular cases, specifically the breakout case in the original knife finishes and the spectrum case in the chroma knife finishes. And being hard to get, you might not be surprised to hear that it's also ridiculously expensive. But being expensive isn't the end of the story when it comes to the butterfly knife, there's actually a little twist on top. And I'll show you what I mean here by doing a comparison with the Huntsman knife. Now this is a Huntsman knife fade and it's a pretty comparable knife to the butterfly knife. It's existed for virtually the same amount of time. It's also only available in one original case and the Spectrum cases. And the only real difference really is that the Huntsman case wasn't dropped as much. So its price should look pretty similar to the price of a butterfly fade, except it's not. The Huntsman knife has stayed basically flat over the years. The butterfly fade, on the other hand, well, it's tripled in value over the last three years, which is kind of weird given how similar the background of all these knives are. And it's not just the phase either. Compare any of the butterfly knives from the breakout case with the Huntsman knives from the Huntsman case, and you see the same thing. Take the knight, for example. The Huntsman is flat, while the butterfly, on the other hand, has been steadily rising. And the other knives that share the Spectrum case with the butterfly knife are also doing the same thing as the Huntsman knife. So the Fauchion Fade, for example, has stayed flat. The Bowie Fade, as well, has stayed flat. They're not doing anything. It's just the butterfly knife that's getting more expensive. Now, the reason this is all quite weird is that the obvious explanation here, which is no shit, the butterfly knife is easily the coolest of all these knives, doesn't really explain what's happening here. It may explain why the Spectrum butterfly knives are more expensive than their counterparts in that case, because there's an equal amount of all five knives, so obviously the best looking knife is going to be the most pricey, the same way crambits and bayonets are more expensive than gut knives and flip knives, but it doesn't work for all the butterfly knives in the breakout case, because they're not sharing it with other knives. Every knife in that case is a butterfly knife. So being good looking shouldn't, at least on paper, be making these knives more expensive than other knives, like the Huntsman knife or the Fauchion knife or the Bowie knife or the Shadow Daggers, because the skins economy is essentially a free market. If one knife is miles more expensive than other knives, in theory, people should start opening that case until the price balances. Now, that kind of system obviously won't be perfect. People don't forensically compare the prices of knives in different cases before they open something. And if the difference was 10% or 20% or 30%, for example, it wouldn't be that hard to believe. But when the butterfly knives are at least twice as expensive as any of the knives you can compare them to, well, there's a gap that I find pretty hard to accept. So something else seems to be going on here. And I've got a theory that I'm reasonably confident about. Unfortunately, there's no other situation like this I can compare it to, which makes explaining what's going on a bit more difficult, but I think this does fit. So the butterfly knife didn't go up in price overnight. It's been increasing over a couple of years. And looking at this, it reached a low point in August 2016, and then in December 2016, it started increasing. Now, logically, you'd think that you'd start looking for something that changed in that December, but I think this may be a case of getting caught off guard by a big red herring, because the whole drop off that occurred around June that year and lasted until the end of 2016 had nothing to do with how much people like butterfly knives and everything to do with several big gambling scandals and Valve's cease and desist letter to a bunch of gambling sites which tanked skin prices. Prices that didn't recover until the early parts of 2017. The butterfly knife included, and you can see it going up and up and up, and by March 2017, well, its price had recovered to where it was before the scandal. But obviously the price kept on going up after that, and kept on going up despite the fact that March is typically where prices peak during the yearly cycle. And I think this is where something else came back into play, and that would be the Spectrum knives, which were released as it happens during March 2017. Now, one important thing to note about the Spectrum Butterfly Knives is that they're slightly more expensive than their original breakout case counterparts. Not heaps more, but remember, older Butterfly Knives have tripled in price since the Spectrum case was released. So when the Spectrum Knives first came out, the difference would have been huge. 
And I think this is what's caused the price of these older butterfly knives, like the Fade and like the Knight, to increase so much. Anyone looking at Spectrum butterfly knives and thinking how cool they are, and they are fucking cool, might be tempted to go for an older, cheaper butterfly knife instead, because the Spectrum ones are so expensive. And additionally, anyone hoping to unbox a butterfly knife probably would have been tempted to go for a Spectrum case rather than a breakout case, because not only does the Spectrum case have the best butterfly knives, but the breakout case's skins are kind of shit, in all honesty. And putting these two things together, so more demand for the older butterfly knives and less people unboxing them, well, you can see how over time, the price of these older butterfly knives would have gone up. Or at least, that's how I see things. I can't be certain about it, and I'm interested to hear what other theories people have in the comments, but before I wrap up, I should explain what this means for investing in some of these older breakout case butterfly knives, because the implication of my theory, at least, is that they shouldn't be able to get any more expensive than the Spectrum butterfly knives. And given the prices are already fairly close, I don't think they're going to get too much more valuable. So they might be a good knife to hold on to if you're worried about your knife losing value, but I'm not particularly confident they'll be a good investment. You'll probably still make some money, but if making money is your primary concern, you'll probably do better investing in other things. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.